Okay, so now I want to do an example for turbines and specifically finding the power produced by a turbine. So for this FE type question, we're told power is produced by steam flowing through a turbine at 10 kilograms per second with an inlet pressure of 1000 kilopascals and at a temperature of 200 degrees Celsius. The steam exits, exits the turbine at a quality of 95% and pressure of 100 kilopascals at the following properties. So we have the following properties given to us at the exit. So this is good. Instead of us using the tables, they actually give us these properties for 100 kPa at the exit. So neglecting kinetic and potential energy effects, the power produced by the turbine is most nearly what? So we are finding what? We are asked to find the power produced by the turbine which is going to be our big W dot. So that's what we will find and it's going to be in units of kilowatts. So for the turbine, we know we can refer to the handbook. What I did was simply do control F, type in turbine. So this is, this talks about steady flow systems, which is indeed true. That will be the case in this case. We're essentially using the first law of thermodynamics, but there's an equation that's specific to turbines if we go down it's gonna be no that's an impulse turbine it's gonna be this section so this will be in the fluids fluid mechanics section so this relates to fluids and also thermodynamics so in this example we will look at this section and we will be specifically using this equation so the work done by the turbine is going to be the mass flow rate, which is given, times the enthalpy at the inlet minus the enthalpy at the outlet. Essentially the change in enthalpy. So this is the total work out. So at the inlet we're going to have some enthalpy, at the exit we'll have some enthalpy. And that's all we have to do here and we're, we are neglecting potential energy and we're saying the kinetic energy is also neglected. So if kinetic energy was indeed included, we would use this equation. So you would have to consider the velocity at the inlet and the velocity at the exit in that case. So, but in this case, we're going to use just this equation. So if I go back to the workbook, we will write the equation down. So I write it as the W dot is going to equal to the mass flow rate. And we're going to have the enthalpy at the inlet minus the enthalpy at the exit. So let's draw the turbine. Essentially, I'll just draw something like this. We're going to have the at the inlet, we have a temperature. Do we have a temperature? Yes. We have the temperature at the inlet of 200 degrees Celsius. And we have also a pressure of 1,000 megapascals so the pressure at the inlet is going to be one one thousand kilopascals which is what in megapascals all you have to do is take the thousand divided by a thousand we're going to megapascals so you get one megapascal so we're going to need this for our tables it's one megapascal at the inlet we converted kilopascals to megapascals and we know at the exit so at the exit is going to be E, lowercase e. We have what they tell us the steam exits at a quality of 95%. So at the exit, we have a quality of 0 0.95. And we're told we have a pressure at the exit of 100 kPa. So we have a pressure of 100 kPa. So this is our turbine and these are the conditions. So what we need essentially are HI and HE. Enthalpy at the inlet, enthalpy at the exit. We have the mass flow rate, which is nice. It's 10, 10 kilograms per second. So let's find for the inlet, let's find that enthalpy. So for the inlet, we know the enthalpy can be arrived at by using the tables and specifically we're looking at superheated 
because we are at a pressure of one megapascal we are in that superheated stage and we have 200 degrees celsius so let's go back to the tables it would make sense when you look at the tables and we're gonna be using the steam tables type in steam okay here we go and we're gonna be not saturated water we do not we have superheated we're gonna use the superheated tables because we are above this saturated temperature we're at 200 degrees celsius at this specific pressure too so we're well above the 179 so we're in the superheated region and therefore we're gonna be at 200 degrees celsius that's what the question tells us tells us we are at 200 degrees celsius at the inlet so let's go back we're at 200 let's highlight that and we go we know we're at one megapascal right and we have to go in the this column right the enthalpy and let's extract that value for 200 it's going to be this so that's the value we will use for the enthalpy at the inlet so let's write that down in our workbook the enthalpy at the inlet is going to equal to that value of 2827.9 kilojoules per kilogram so we have that at the inlet now let's do the outlet we want that we found the enthalpy at the inlet again we found this now we need the outlet h sub e so for the outlet the enthalpy h sub e is going to be we know before we proceed we know it's going to be a mix right we have a quality of 0 0.95 so in order to take the average of that mix the saturated mix we're going to have to use the following equation this is also in the handbook you can go down here it's going to be this expression h at the exit is going to be h sub f specifically the enthalpy for the liquid times x which is the quality is 0 0.95 times the change between the enthalpy of the vapor minus the enthalpy of the liquid so here we have it's going to it's a two-phase system right and we're we're at 0 0.95 the quality this is important we're taking the difference between the enthalpy of the saturated vapor minus the enthalpy of the saturated liquid that's what that means here but we'll do that in the workbook so h sub e is going to equal to the enthalpy for the liquid plus our x value times h sub fg so h sub e equals our h sub f is given right we do not have to refer to the tables if they were not given we would have to refer to 100 kpa i'll just show you this real quick you can go to your steam tables so you go to steam you, you, we know we're in the saturated region now right so we're in saturated and we're going to use just the steam tables we're not in superheated and you would have to go to that pressure of 100 kpa so it's going to be around 0 0.11 it's going to be 0 0.1 megapascal so i guess you would have to interpolate here or just use this value if you do interpolate you're going to have to use these bounds for the 95 100 and this will be your pressure so this these would be the bounds you're interpolating and you're using 0 0.1 but let's say it's closer to this number we would go all the way to the right and you would extract the values for the enthalpy for the saturated liquid for the saturated vapor and this gives you the difference between those so you would just extract these values which will be this and for the saturated vapor but in this case they give us those so let's specifically plug those in so our eight sub f f is going to be given as the 417.436 417.436 
417.436 kilojoules per kilogram. That plus the quality, which is 0 0.95. Then we take our H sub FG, which is the difference between the H sub G, which is this, and our H sub F. So we just subtract those. So I'll plug that in here. So H sub G is going to be 267. 4.95 kilojoules per kilogram minus our H sub F is going to be the 417.4 what is it 436 436 kilojoules per kilogram let me move this down and now you can solve for the enthalpy at the exit for that I got around 25 62.07 kilojoules per kilogram. So now we can finally use the work done by the turbine is going to equal to our mass flow rate H sub I minus H sub E. So the mass flow rate is given right in the question statement. It's the 10 kilograms per second. So plug in 10 here. Kilograms per second. Then H sub I is going to be what we have here. We got this from the steam table. So 2827, 2827.9 kilojoules per kilogram minus our H sub E, which is 2562.07 kilojoules per kilogram. And now you can solve for the work done by the turbine. It should be in kilowatts. And for that, I got around 2. 660 kilowatts so this is our answer and if we go back to our answer choices it should be d and i hope that helps let me know if you have questions thank you